Okay, welcome to my channel. This video, uh, Gray Tool sent me some stuff, so let's get the camera turned around and get into it. This is going to be a good one. All right. Well, I didn't get the camera turned around, but first I want to show you this. Well, let's see. Let me see if I can get this folded. Okay. You see it came from Gray Tools. Now I'm going to get the camera turned around. Alright, well I decided not to turn the camera around. I might edit this part out. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, i got to get rid of this stupid invoice. Okay. As you can see, there's the part number. I hope you can see that. Comes in this nice carrying case. It's three punches. There's two tapered ones. A short one. Wow, that's so small, I can't even read it with my good glasses on. Anyway. There's that one. Now these are good for punching out, uh, well you can use this taper, so you can use it for lining up stuff, bolt holes and stuff too. Uh, but for punching out bearing races, or putting them in rather. Here's a longer one. As you can see, it's quite a bit longer. This would have came in handy if I would have had this a few years ago. Now, obviously, when you're knocking them out, you can use one of these, just a, a metal one, or, you know. And this one is... Actually, I don't even know what this is. It don't have a name on it. I thought it did. I thought these was Craftsman, but whatever. It ain't about these. But to take them out, you can use these because you don't care about marring up the uh, or nicking the uh, the bearing race. And of course, I got a couple different sets of these or sizes. But when you're putting them in, you don't want to that thing to slip a little bit this won't mar it up the metal ones will and you got this one too pretty long now like this is like a drift punch i guess that's what they call it now, i have two you can see i, I beat the crap out of them This was a longer one that I cut in half. Probably should have left it long, right? And of course I got my little homemade brass hammer. And I have this three piece set. I haven't had a chance to use it yet. But anyway, it's not about all that stuff. It's about these. This would have came in handy. These are awesome. Now I can see on that one, that one must be stamped a little bit better. This says gray tools. This is a 7 sixteenths. And this one's a 3 eighths. Wear safety goggles. Now, these are, I wish it set it on there so I could show you, but it don't. These are uh, made in the USA, which I'm sure is lifetime warranty. 
The round things want to keep rolling on the table. But anyway, yeah, these are these are made in the USA. This is awesome. And like I said, I got this one. Now this is a little bit smaller than the one that I have, which I'm, that's good. Smaller around, but it's longer. I can't wait to be able to get to use these things. These are awesome. Thank you very much, Gray Tools. Uh, in case I forgot to mention, Gray Tools sent me these to do a video on. I did not pay for them. So I'm doing a video on them. I wish I had a uh, had a vehicle in here or something where I could use these or needed to use these on. These are awesome. I especially like this long one, this tapered one. You can use it for lining stuff up. Like if you're underneath vehicle, you want to line up the subframe or something, you can use this. Now, I've, I've been using this for the bear, taking the races out and putting them in. And, you know, you, every now and then you mess up and nick the race and you got to replace it. If you had this, you wouldn't do that. But uh, this, I've been using this for a lineup tool too, but as you can see, it, it won't work as nearly as good as this one. So I'm glad I got this one. Like I said, thank you very much for Gray Tools for sending me these. I really appreciate it. And that's about all I got for this video. Like always, oh wait, I want to show you something. Sorry, Gray Tools, this don't really have anything to do with it, but I'm going to show you this. This is supposed to be a ring sizer. I made this in school on a lathe. Obviously, it's nothing special, but you know, I was just a kid in school, right? However, I must have made it for women's rings because my ring on my, my wedding ring will go all the way over this. It's not supposed to, it's only supposed to go like the right here. It's to straighten out rings if they get bent or whatever, if you need, need it stretched a little bit. That's what this was supposed to be for. But anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. These are gonna come in handy. Thank you, Gray Tools. If I have any problems with them, I'll let everybody know and when I get to use them, I'll do a video on it. That's all I got for this video. Like always, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.